2018 Dodge Durango. 2018 Dodge Durango Review. Extraordinary towing, V8 power plus a roomy interior are factor to the Dodge Durango's enduring appeal. 4 star overall score. Dodge does things slightly differently using automakers. While others make anonymous four-cylinder family sedans, Dodge provides Charger, a substantial family sedan inspired by muscle cars in the past and powered using a V6 or possibly a choice of three V8 engines. And in a time when car companies refresh crossover SUVs with the speed of midterm election cycles, Dodge persists with an aging but proven formula for that 2018 Dodge Durango. If the Durango looks familiar, like you've seen this current generation traveling since the 2011 model year. That's a very long time compared to a variety of its fresh arrivals, but Dodge has kept this three-row crossover relevant, that include with a significant update for 2014 that added a satisfying 8-speed automatic transmission and also a revised interior with Chrysler's excellent 8.4-inch touch screen. For 2018, you will find more to enjoy including a new high-performance SRT model that cranks out 475 horsepower, accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.4 seconds, and will tow as much as 8,600 pounds. No other non-luxury automaker offers anything enjoy it. The Durango's fundamentals, including extraordinary towing capacity, available V8 power and adult size space inside third row, are factor to its enduring appeal. And as probably the most muscular vehicles rolling around in its class, the Durango is usually one with the heaviest. That takes a toll on real-world fuel economy which enables it to also result in the V6 engine feel anemic on occasion. It also bolsters the argument for selecting the exuberant V8, gas bills notwithstanding. If you will discover a powertrain to suit your needs, whether a V6 or possibly a V6, there's a lot to adore. Even as of this advanced stage in their life cycle, the Durango remains the most capable and well-rounded three-row crossovers you should buy. Notably, we picked the 2018 Dodge Durango as one of best mid-size SUVs due to this year. What's new? For 2018, the Dodge Durango SRT debuts, offering a 475 horsepower V8 engine. Other select Durango trims modify the sporty hood made to maximize airflow and engine cooling. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, a 7-inch touchscreen interface and also a rear view camera now come standard on every model. The RT doesn't come cheap, however it's the specification that basically lets the Durango flex its muscles. With standard V8 power along with a sporty stance, the R is family friendly transportation with attitude. Go using the brass monkey or even the blacktop appearance package for optimum effect. Trim levels and features. The 2018 Dodge Durango is usually a three row crossover SUV accessible in five trim levels SXT, GT, Citadel, R, T, and SRT. All Durango models except the SRT are rear-wheel drive and provide optional all-wheel drive. The SRT is simply available with all-wheel drive. Seven passenger seating is standard, while second row captain's chairs, reducing capability to six, are optional. If you need to prioritize cargo over passengers, try the base SXT with just two rows of seats. The other trims are three-row only. The base SXT comes standard using a 3.6 litre V6 engine, 293 horsepower, 260 pound feet of torque, matched with an 8 speed automatic transmission. Other standard features include 18 inch alloy wheels, a load levelling rear suspension, heated mirrors, a rear view camera, keyless ignition and entry, 3 zone climate control, a 60 40 split folding and reclining second row seat. A 50-50 split folding third row seat with power folding headrests, otherwise, a solution to delete the 3RD row seat, and cloth upholstery. Technology features include Bluetooth phone connectivity, a 7-inch touch screen interface, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone integration, dual USB ports along with a 6-speaker subwoofer. 
the GT adds 20-inch wheels, an electric liftgate, rear parking sensors, remote start, heated front and second row seats, a heated leader, power adjustable front seats, leather and suede upholstery, a 115-volt power outlet, driver position memory settings and satellite radio. Going using the Citadel gets you Zen on headlights, automatic high beams, automatic wipers, upgraded brakes, front parking sensors, roof rail crossbars, a sunroof, a cargo cover, upgraded leather upholstery, additional leather trim, an electric adjustable steering column, the Uconnect 8.4 inch touch screen interface, a navigation system, an energy adjustable passenger seat, ventilated front seats, as well as a 9 speaker audio system which has a subwoofer and HD radio. An optional anodized platinum appearance package adds upgraded leather upholstery with silver accent stitching and special interior trim. The R.T. moves into high performance realms with all the 5.7 litre V8 engine, 360 horsepower, 390 pounds to feet, a standard, an aftermarket steering system, a sport chin suspension, a performance hood design, lead fog lights, red accent stitching as well as a big sound system. The Citadel's standard roof rails and sunroof are optional. The 5.7 litre V8 is additionally optional to the Citadel. Some from the higher trim standard features can also be offered on lower trims as options. A technology group package with the Citadel and R.T. adds adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert, a forward collision warning system with automatic braking, lane departure warning and lane keeping assist. Blind spot monitoring is usually offered about the GT by using a separate options package, safety slash security and convenience group, that additionally carries a handful with the Citadel's standard luxuries. Optional about the GT and R.T. is really a brass monkey appearance package that contributes a gloss black grille, black headlamp bezels, 20-inch bronze painted wheels and other body color trim. An optional black top appearance package, also with the GT and R. T is analogous and fits the Durango with 20 inch black painted wheels plus a variety of blackout exterior trim items. The black top package also bumps engine power around 295 horsepower and 260 pounds to feet of torque. Other options include black running boards and bright pedals, Mopa running board package, a second row console with armrest and storage, includes an in console. 12 volt power outlet as well as a USB charge port, a dual screen rear entertainment system, with Blu-ray compatibility, as well as a trailer tour package. Finally, the newest SRT trim level tops it off which has a 64 litre V8 engine, 475 horsepower, 470 pounds to feet, performance tuned steering, an adaptive suspension, electronically controlled limited slip differential, SRT performance pages, various configurable performance parameters, as well as a driver's session for the SRT Track Experience School of Motoring. Options will include a sunroof, upgraded again the leather upholstery, the spine entertainment system, the SRT interior appearance group, includes carbon fiber accents and soft touch headliner, along with the technology group. Trim tested. Each vehicle typically will come in multiple versions which might be fundamentally similar. The S in this particular review derived from our full test from the 2015 Dodge Durango Limited, 3.6 liters V6, 8 speed automatic, AWD. Note, since this test was conducted, the latest Durango has gotten some revisions to appearance packages and standard equipment at various trim levels. Our test Durango's limited trim is comparable to today's GT. Otherwise, our findings remain broadly applicable to the present year's Durango Dodd driving. The 3.6 litre V6 can sound a bit taxed in such a considerable vehicle, but a clever transmission helps obtain the most out of it both at our test track and within the real world. The Durango's other dynamic attributes, for better and worse, are definitely more truck-like than its crossover competitors. Acceleration it reaches 60 miles per hour in 8.1 seconds, that's average with the segment. The 8-speed automatic is needing to downshift if needed and holds gears when climbing and descending hills. Braking 
The pedal feel is moderate to soft which has a long travel stroke. It stopped from 60 miles per hour and 125 feet, which is additionally average with the segment. Multiple panic stops displayed fade, odor along with a reduction in ABS effectiveness. Steering. Druckish and slow, the Durango requires many turns and will not self-center watchily. Still, it's appropriately precise and weighted in normal driving, quick and tight U-turn situations, comfortable slack at freeway speeds. Handling. When driving around turns, the Durango feels even larger than it is on account of slow steering and minimal tire grip. It's a considerable, lumbering SUV. Those upsizing at a more sprightly car may choose to look elsewhere. Drivability. The slow steering may postpone those familiar with driving cars, however it's an improvement for people downsizing from old school truck SUVs. The transmission can look for gears in normal, flat ground driving and is particularly overly eager occasionally to reach top gear. Off-road. The ground clearance of 8.1 inches will work for a family-oriented SUV. The Durango V8 comes having a dual-range transfer case. Comfort. Families who spend a lot of time within the car can be wise to evaluate the road trip watchy Durango. Our highway testing showed an abandoned, comfortable vehicle with supportive seats. Impressive. Seat comfort. The driver's seat is firm and supportive, with ample adjustment. The optional second row captain's chairs recline along with slide, yet it didn't seem to negatively affect comfort. The third row is average comfort with the segment. Ride comfort. Composed, planted, comfortable, even on big optional wheels. Those who appreciate a large, heavy feel of the truck will feel right at your home, albeit with no uncouth jiggling and occasionally harsh ride motions. Noise and vibration. Louder at full throttle than some competitors, but quieter when cruising with nicely quelled road and wind noise. A nice, peaceful destination for an enjoy family journey. Interior Some competitors may offer seat belts for eight, that is really a token provision. In reality, the Durango offers more useful passenger space, a less confining view out plus an easier methods of getting inside. Dodge's use of friendly tech interface is an additional benefit. Ease of usage. As always, Dodge's large Uconnect touch screen, optional, is really a benchmark for use of friendliness with large virtual buttons, logical menus, and helpful secondary physical controls. Everything is easy to succeed in. Getting in, getting out. The rear doors that open nearly 90 degrees are superior to most. The flip and fold second row makes use of the third row also a lot better than most, while there is the typical high step up versus a minivan. Roominess. The Durango is the most spacious three row SUVs. Adults can fit with peace of mind in all outboard seating positions, third row head and legroom are especially good, and that is rare. Only two seat belts inside the third row means it might fit seven people max. Visibility. Good visibility straight back, but the trunk headrest along with a thick rear roof pillar hamper reversing. The optional rear view camera helps, but it really lacks clarity. Large mirrors and optional blind spot warning. Forward visibility is average. Quality. The material's quality is average with expected soft touch surfaces of pleasant texture. Construction is not special. It doesn't look or feel as high-end because the related Jeep Grand Cherokee, however it's also not be embarrassed with. Utility With maximum cargo space that will fit that of all even so the largest SUVs, a good fold flat front passenger seat, plus the highest tow S among its rivals, the Durango is exceptionally well-rounded in relation to overall utility. Cargo space Durango's 84.5 cubic feet of max space is on par with most rivals. Space behind the third row is wide and deep enough for a considerable golf bag. 
the movable cargo cover can be a nice feature. Typical bins in advance. Towing. The V6 powered Durango can tow up to 6,200 pounds, which can be more than most rivals can manage. The optional 5.7 litre V8 will work for 7,400 pounds, and the brand new 6.4 litre V8 can tow approximately 8,600 pounds. Trailer sway control comes standard. Technology. A range of two large touch screen displays. Fast software processing, full featured you connect infotainment features, and also a full suite of driver assistance features result in the Durango essentially the most tech connected crossovers in a class. Audio and navigation. Navigation comes standard for the Citadel trim level, optional on GT. The 8.4 inch touch screen can be a worthwhile upgrade. The Beats audio system is really a good option for premium sound. However it is disappointing which the multi-speaker Harman Kardon system easily obtainable in other Dodge vehicles isn't offered. Smartphone integration. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto come standard. Driver aids. The optional technology group bundles items including adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, automatic emergency braking, lane departure warning and lane keeping assist. Available only as an alternative and not positioned on base SXT trims.